Thank you so much. Um, my name is Laura Super. I'm at the University of British Columbia, a, a PhD candidate, and I study the phytobiome, which is the plant, its associated organisms, and the environment. In addition to research, I'm absolutely interested as well in teaching and learning and uh, science outreach. So I'm very much involved in how can we have research and teaching and outreach be more equitable and inclusive and also just get science more broadly spread. So one of the things we're gonna be talking about today is the Kindness Project and also about phytobiome research group that I do where I'm mentoring undergraduates. So I just wanted to quickly go into, cause we have very limited amount of time, the Kindness Project. So in essence, it's a group of people that have gone global at this point where we um, talk about kindness and we have different initiatives including work, uh, workshops and we actually have, have an article and the website for this is blogs.ubc.ca slash kindness project, all one word, and then forward slash. And I'm just gonna pass it over to one of the professors because it's faculty, staff and students and off campus partners, Bob Willard. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, for not only that introduction, but for leading the, the kindness project, uh, which is, as you indicated, a multi-university uh, project that engages uh, professors and uh, students and the staff of universities in an intention to have a culture change towards a kinder environment. What does this have to do with uh, inclusivity? Well, in fact, uh, kindness is about relationships. Kindness is about the way we relate one to the other. Inclusiveness is similarly about relationships, uh, and it's about reaching beyond the skin, beyond the gender, uh, beyond the identification uh, to the human being uh, that's uh, behind that. And the Kindness Project is an attempt to, uh, in a pedagogic terms uh, and in organizational terms, to say that we can do better than we have to this point uh, in universities, in, in building forward. Uh, and uh, that uh, will be expressed in the lab, it'll be expressed in seminars, it'll be expressed in large and small lectures, and more particularly, it will be uh, expressed in the ongoing kind relationship between all three uh, of faculty, students, and staff. Let's keep in mind that uh, while the Kindness Project is about relationships, the important thing is the network of relationships that are required to actually bring about uh, a culture change in the academy uh, across the whole continent. And we would love for you to join us uh, in moving forward this uh, desire. Thank you, Bob, for your uh, kind um, explanation of the Kindness Project. I'm now going to pass it on to Isabel in just a second. So in addition to being very interested in kindness, I, I love, love, love studying the phytobiome. And I very much enjoy collaborating and mentoring other people, including undergraduates. And for, throughout my PhD, I've had about 100 volunteers. With the pandemic, we've been doing online working groups that are inclusive of different needs. And people have told me over the course of my degree that I have an inclusive approach. And Isabel is one of the current students that I have helping me. And she's going to, in addition to saying what she's found, um, also some of what other people have written, because I asked people yesterday some of the feedback that they had. So thank you, Isabel. Um, anyone can join Laura's group of students. So our GPA or our major doesn't matter. All that matters is our desire to learn. The meetings are discussion based and it's a low pressure environment. So it's okay to make mistakes. There are no stupid questions. Um, people are from all different areas of biology. Um, so Laura explains things well, even if you don't have much background. Um, it's always interesting to hear what people from different areas of science think about the stuff we're studying. Um, there's also no need to set deadlines because everyone's interested in the material and there's no minimum amount of hours that you have to volunteer per week, um, which means that even super busy students can come and learn a bit. I like how meetings start with us sharing things we've encountered throughout the weeks and meetings end with us telling each other what we have learned. Um, so it's not only a science focused group, it's a relationship focused group as well.
type of learning is especially useful to learning about the phytobiome because um, it's a big complex system. So learning about it in little bits and flexibly is really useful. So as Is Isabel um, alluded to, having a kind inclusive approach is incredibly important, not just for the people involved, but also for learning complex topics. This is especially important for things like ecological forecasting, which is Effie is doing, because in order to ha understand these forward and back casting and all these other complex things that we really don't know, you have to actually have all different types of people, some that are good at it, some that are not, some that have new angles in order to solve complex problems, which is another reason I'm so interested in kindness, because I think in order for us to move forward and address things like climate change and habitat disruption and ecological forecasting and phytobiomes, we have to have an inclusive approach. So one thing I wanted to mention that Isabel didn't say is we're actually doing some crowdfunding and some course development for a seminar that anyone's welcome to join in. And also the Kindness Project is open to anyone, um, including people on any university, as well as people who are not in a university setting. And we can give information to Jody if you would like to contact her and put her in touch, because this is open to anyone. Thank you.